Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about reverberation. A lot of people call it echo. It's not really what it is. Echo's a little bit broader category than reverberation, more distance involved and things like that. So let's let's just focus on reverberation for the purposes of this video. What is reverberation? It's that persistence of sound after the sound is gone. Uh, that's the easiest way to per to say it. So after our source produces the sound, it's the lagging or persistence of that sound in, within our room. Not meeting really the criteria of echo yet, but let's just call it reverberation for right now. So we know we have a measurement for that in, in physics. It's called RT60. It's a calculation. The 60 stands for the length of time it takes for the source sound to decay down to a certain point, a certain level, okay? So it's the persistence of sound in a room that we're focused on. And what is that? If you think through that, that's room distortion. Well, everything in audio, at least everything in our audio world, is about reducing room distortion. So we always want that balance between the direct energy, which is that straight line energy from the source, to our ears, because that doesn't include the room or includes less of the room. So the goal is to minimize distortion and hear that direct energy from the room because that's the purest sound and the reflected or the reverberation in the room is the uh, room distortion. So reverberation times are subjective in a lot of cases. There's no real set definition. I mean, I, I work in control rooms and mix rooms and live rooms and vocal rooms all the time and everybody's a little bit different. There are ranges of acceptability that we kind of strive for when we're designing certain types of room, like control rooms, 0 0.5, 0 0.65, 0 0.75 seconds, RT60 times, full range uh, measurements, things like that. But everybody's a little bit different. This is where the term wet and dry came from. Dry is lots of absorption, minimum reverberation, and then wet is, or alive, is more reverberation. So reverberation is that persistence of sound in our room, and we know that's distortion. So we want to assign the appropriate treatments to deal with that. And we'll, we'll talk about that in a, another video. I hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.